The state board of accounts will soon begin its investigation of the Evansville Parks Department. That after the mayor announced earlier this week that some unusual invoices were discovered that led to Parks Director Brian Holtz resigning. The mayor then appointed Deputy Mayor Steve Schaefer to serve as the interim Parks Director. I spoke with Schaefer this afternoon about the investigation. He says the state board of accounts will begin its investigation early next week. Deputy Mayor Steve Schaefer, thanks for taking the time to join us tonight to talk to us. First off, in regards to the investigation, the Indiana State Board of Accounts will now investigate the finances of the Parks Department. Why is that and what does that process involve? Well, when the mayor made the uh, announcement on uh, earlier this week, uh, he said that he had contacted the State Board of Accounts uh, as well as a forensic auditor. and. The State Board of Accounts has, has um, been working with our office and EPD and will be doing an assessment early next week uh, in addition to all the other uh, reviews that are taking place. What does that process look like? Uh, with the State Board of Accounts? Yes. Uh, State Board of Accounts uh, is going to have a staff person down here uh, in Evansville to assist in uh, reviewing some of the uh, unordinary invoices that were raised and will assist in, in the investigation. How long do you expect that investigation to take? Uh, no timeline, but we want to get it right. I know that EPD, the State Board of Accounts, um, everyone wants to get it right and restore confidence uh, in the Parks Department back, um, restore the mayor's confidence in, in the Parks Department. Well, you are the deputy mayor and now the interim director of the Parks Department. How will you be able to juggle both jobs and will you be able to devote the time needed to oversee an entire department? Right. Well, come on, Brandon. I mean, you know, I'm a Superman fanatic. Um, you know, I can I think that I can do it all. Um, but in my role as deputy mayor, um, I have been working with department heads from the beginning. So I know um, a lot about every department within the city government. Uh, I also serve as chair of the, the mayor's uh, aquatics uh, task force, so I'm intimately involved with the Deaconess Aquatic Center, and that's one of the major projects of the Parks Department. So I uh, feel confident that I can do both jobs uh, in the interim uh, to help the city. So you feel like you've already been involved with the Parks Department a lot? Uh, well, from a management level, uh, I help, uh, help manage and oversee all the department heads. So, um, yes, um, involved in, in a lot of the, the major projects and initiatives. When will the search for a new director begin and what's that timeline? Well, no timeline has been set. Uh, obviously, we want to see what, what comes out of the forensic review uh, and the investigation. And in due process, uh, due time, we will uh, follow the normal hiring process for a new parks director. Well, what will that process look like? Uh, just like the normal hiring process, uh, the job will be posted. Uh, we'll look uh, for resumes to be submitted and interviews, and then the mayor will uh, make his decision and that person would, would serve. What is it that you'll be looking for in a new director? I think that the mayor wants someone that is uh, a good communicator, someone that is a good manager, uh, obviously positive, optimistic about our parks in the city. Uh, those are the main uh, uh, qualities that I think we'll be looking for. And this is obviously a sudden transition. How will that affect any projects that the Parks Department is already working on? Well, thanks to the hardworking Parks um, staff, um, uh, they are continuing to uh, carry out programs, initiatives of the Parks Department. So I don't really see uh, a transition that will cause any delay in projects or initiatives. Uh, just the other day, we had Parks and Rec, which is their monthly program in the parks, a free program. Uh, today, we announced uh, some Lily King watch parties that, that will be hosted by the city. So all of these things are continuing to take place. What are some of the major projects the Parks Department is working on? Well, the reason I was late for the interview was a, a tour of the Deaconess Aquatic Center, meeting with some contractors. Uh, that is probably the uh, key project right now for the city and the Parks Department, and making sure that we still have that opening uh, in late August or early September. Yeah, there's a lot of focus on swimming right now with Lily King and the Olympics. How, how, is, the par how is that looking, the Aquatic Center? Oh, it is gorgeous. It is a state-of-the-art facility that will offer recreational swimming, 
uh, competitive swimming, also a spray park. So there's something in there for everyone. And we really want to build the sport of swimming in the community, whether it be uh, swim lessons or other activities. But, um, you know, it will be something that Evansville can certainly showcase. All right, Deputy Mayor Steve Schaefer, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us tonight. Sure. Thanks, Brandon.